though Azerbaijan does not have in its foreign policy concept the target to become EU member for very pragmatic reason, just because we will never be allowed in. And the reason is also very clear, and we understand it. We live in real world, not in virtual. So if you will not be allowed in, why should you knock the door? You will only irritate the homeowner owner, and also only humiliate yourself uh, if they don't want you well. We uh, found a way how to build relations, uh, though I would say that uh, recent statement of uh, Mr. Borrell are absolutely counterproductive. Uh, and uh, just his uh, yesterday statements about 150,000 of uh, Armenians who left Karabakh are false. I regret that such an experienced uh, European diplomat is lying. Even Armenians themselves said there have been 100,000 of people who left Karabakh, not 150,000. If Mr. Borrell continues like that, in one month he will say there will be 200,000. It will depend on the dreams which he sees. But again, it is absolutely unacceptable, not only this manipulation with figures, but also accusations uh, against Azerbaijan uh, with respect to uh, something which we haven't done. Especially it's strange that his country, uh, as our foreign minister, ministry uh, already announced, suffered from separatism. So how can he, can he uh, defend uh, separatists? So this is uh, very strange. Uh, so, uh, approaching broader to your question, first, I'm sure that when Georgia becomes EU member, nothing will change in our relations. On the contrary, we will have another close friend in EU which will defend us. Um, we hope that uh, then Georgian members of European Parliament will educate European parliamentarians about Azerbaijan and uh, they be more realistic. Why I say that? Because uh, in one of my telephone conversations with the uh, President of European Council, Mr. Charles Michel, I told him that uh, Chairman of European Parliament, Madame Mazzola, after our anti-terror operation, said that gas relationship and gas contract with Azerbaijan must be terminated. And I told Mr. Charles Michel that uh, probably she, mm, she does not know how these things are being managed because if uh, one side terminates the contract, it should pay a penalty. And um, first she, she should ask those who are in charge with uh, energy policy of uh, European Union and how European Union asked Azerbaijan to help them last year with more gas for Europe because of the cuts of supplies from Russia and how we responded. So unfortunately, we have these kind of uh, people, I would say uh, populist uh, leaders uh, in Europe, like Mr. Borrell, like Madame Mazzola. Uh, and I, I always prefer to speak openly uh, because I fully disagree with uh, their policy and their attitude to Azerbaijan because it is not fair and it is not in the interest of uh, European Union and European institutions. But um, in general, if we talk about uh, European Commission, of course we have excellent relations and we highly value these relations they of strategic importance and not only energy, not only gas, not only oil, soon it will be hydrogen. Uh, you know very well the project with Georgia, Azerbaijan, Romania, and uh, Hungary are involved. So it's a big game changer and we already in the face of implementation, very soon we'll have a final report about feasibility study and hopefully we'll start physical construction. Uh, it is transportation, it is connectivity, 
For people like Joseph Borrell, it's enough to look at the map and to see where Azerbaijan is situated. And if they want to be active in Central Asia, and they do want, and we see the traffic in both directions, how they can avoid Azerbaijan. Are they going to contact Central Asia countries through Iran or through Russia? Or they have wings? So they have to think about that before making these statements.